Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. And if they are, please tap that uh, subscribe button, smash the notification bell, hit like, leave me a comment, and share the content. I'd really appreciate it. It could help me out. Uh, today we have a request. Uh, I got an email uh, picture on this thing here. So we're going to make some bank today. Uh, and uh, it should be pretty easy, so I don't think uh, there's going to be any issues with it, and it should be a very short video, but I will go ahead and throw in some uh, gold nuggets uh, for FYI information, <laughs> for your information, just in case you don't know about them, right? Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is throw one of those little nuggets out there, uh, and I am going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, uh, type, well, yeah, type, go down here to my command line and type in add G, and, and it'll come up add guide, right? So I'm going to add a guide in here because they request this size 5.5 and 3 millimeters. So uh, I want to keep an eye on 3 millimeters, let's say. Uh, you know, this is just all hypothetical. You can use these all different kinds of ways, and I'll go into more detail in a, in a later video. But I did want to go ahead and introduce them in case you're unaware of them in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on grid snaps. Uh, and I have it set at a 0.5 and it's three millimeters. So I want to go 1.5 this way to the north and 1.5 to the south. So uh, I'm going to go in just go one point. Well, let's see, let's change it here and then back to here to make sure it's going to snap in my halves. And I'm going to go here and then I'm just going to drag it over and then hit it. And now it gives me a guide there and one and a half and there and there and it gives me a guide there. So I have two guides out there that I can use to kind of keep an eye on things, right? Uh, to make sure I don't go over that uh, three millimeter. Every time I go to a command and click on it and then my... Uh, click on the command uh, my guides will show up and if you're not wanting let's go ahead and turn off grid snaps at this point I can snap to those guides very easily so you can set up guides in 3d space you can set them up in different viewport ports uh, you can do all kind of things with these to to help you in your designing that so you can snap to them uh, and we'll do a little video on this later on and if uh, they're out there and you're not really wanting them, you can go down here to Smart Track and then just click that and it'll turn them off, right? So you could turn them off, toggle them on and off right here uh, in your viewport, right? See, when I go to that, that viewport, okay, yeah. Can't see them in this viewport, but you can in that one and that one. All right, any, <laughs> anyway, uh, so I have those out there. And there's one other thing that I, I guess I should want to go ahead and show. Uh, so right now they're kind of little dark. Maybe I want them more pronounced. Uh, so you can change their appearance. So uh, go back to your options, right? Uh, go back to options and then go down to modeling aids here in your options modeling aids click on click on it and then come down here to smart track guides and then color of guide just go ahead and click on here and it can be a color palette and you can switch them to any color you want i'm going to make them a nice bright pink uh, and then hit enter and hit ok so now when i come back here and click on it, i have uh, them very very noticeable so i can see them but yet they're not really distracting too much uh, but if you get a lot out there, they could be, but uh, they can be very useful in your designing process. So keep those in mind if you're designing something. And again, they can go in uh, 3D space. So there, there's all kind of uh, options that you have with these. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's get out of that uh, line and let's go to a, uh, I'm just going to grab a circle. And I'll go ahead and grab two points and I'll just go ahead and go snap up there and bring it down here and snap. I know that circle is three millimeters. Uh, and how do I know that? Because I snapped to my guides. Uh, but if I'm, you know, you want to check, you could just go and then uh, click on uh, the quad there, the quad there and three millimeters, of course. I'm going to drag this over to this side somewhat and I'm just going to go ahead go to transform and mirror it over to the other side and then hit enter. I'm going to select both those and turn them to yellow so we can keep everything organized. Uh, now what I'm going to do is grab me a line. Uh, so grab a line and I'm going to take it from the north to the south uh, from quad to quad right. Uh, so click uh, intersection quad intersection quad you can just hold down shift too but i didn't really have to because 
my snaps did it for me. So intersection quad and intersection quad, right? So I have those set up. So I'm going to select these two. I'm going to go ahead and split. Oh, oh okay, they're green. So let's go ahead and change those. I guess I should change to the creation layer. That would probably be better. Okay, this one, this one, come on. This one, okay. All right, so I'm going to select these two, and I'm going to split with uh, this one and this one, and hit Enter, and then I'm going to grab all those in the center there and just delete them. I just want the two halves right there, right? And we'll go ahead and do a blend from here to here, and it gives it to me up there. I'll just drag that one on around. This is my second one, so I'll go over here to my dynamic commands, flip second curve, bink, uh, and then I'll drag this one over to a point nine, and this one to a point nine as well, uh, and just go ahead and hit enter. Now at this point, if you don't like this shape, of course, everything's parametric so far. You can drag one out, which, did I break mirror? I guess so. Uh, oh, because I split it. All right. So, but you can drag it out and make it a little bit uh, longer. At least they still connect there. It doesn't move them both out at the same time, but you can get the shape that you're wanting, right? And they look to be a little longer, you know, longer this way. So I'll go ahead and maybe keep it like this here, right? I'm going to go ahead and take all that and I'm going to join it together. And so now I have one closed curve, or one open curve, sorry. Uh, and then I'll go to my offset, offset here. Uh, and this one, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, through points so I get both sides, or uh, through points so I can move it, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on, uh, where's both sides? Both sides, so I get both sides, right? So I'll drag it out. I don't know. Let's see. It's a point seven. It's a one point four. Uh, as wide as I can, because we're going to have to thin it down because it's outside of our three millimeters, right? So we'll take that. We'll go ahead and take this and delete it. Well, we should have deleted it. We should probably just go ahead and save it. Uh, so save it, right? And then from here, I'm going to just take this and kind of hold down Shift and kind of bring it in a little bit so it's closer to my. Uh, Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, maybe I don't want it that. All right. I hear you. <laughs> uh, hold down shift this way. Uh, maybe not shift. Give it a little bit elongated, but something like that there. Right. Uh, okay. So all I have to do is click on this, and then it puts my guides out there. And it's pretty close. And by the time you do some polishing on it, it'll probably be right there at three. Uh, and casting, you're going to lose a little in casting, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it like this. Uh, and I'm going to just do my old uh, blend there and just uh, blend these off right here and blend these off right here. I am not going to join them together. I just want those curves together. Uh, let's see what this can I explode this curve I think I can yeah so I can so I'm going to back out of that I do not want to explode that curve I want that curve as one and I want this curve as one so I'm just going to to go and uh, go down here to my edit tools and fit tolerance and then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter I'm going to right uh, uh, click on that one right click and then hit enter so now if I try to explode them I can't they're one, uh, they're a NURBS curve. Okay. Uh, so I can't explain, and that's what I want. And I want these separate. Okay. The reason being is I'm not going to make it exactly like this. I figure we'll, we'll go into some more detail, but we have a line going through and then we have this. It looks like it's, uh, kind of got a little curvature on it, uh, on those little dollar signs on the bank. So, uh, we're going to maybe, uh, do a little bit more with it, I guess, uh, spruce it up on our own. But again, it's, you know, if, if they're just wanting it flat, you can just uh, join all that together, uh, go to, uh, extrude, right, uh, straight and, uh, uh, both sides know and just bring it up where you want it. And then there's your straight one, right? Uh, if you want it, just straight. I'm going to go back because we're going to play around with it and spruce it up a little bit. Uh, so here we go. We sit, we have four curves out there. One, two, three, and four. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, select those curves, and we're going to do an extrude. 
uh, from uh, grabbing the gumball, the ball in on the gumball right there, right? And I don't know, maybe uh, it doesn't look like it's real heavy. It looks like it's pretty lightweight ring. Uh, uh, for bank, I, th I would think it would be more heavier than that. But hey, you know, to each their own, right? Uh, so I'm just going to take it up to maybe one and a three quarters, something like that. Select it all and let's make it a little easier on our eyes. Uh, so we have that. Okay, and the reason why I left it with these two, and the reason why, let's see if I can explode that. I shouldn't be able to. I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I left, I wanted to fit these curves to make them a NURBS curve uh, or one single curve is because now what I can do is I can go to my surface and go to a blend, right? And hit blend and I can select uh, this edge here and this edge here and it'll give me this nasty thing here. Uh, and I can uh, lock those and then kind of bring it down let's go fit same height uh, and of course it's got some nasty stuff right there so let's go ahead and uh, add a shape we'll add one maybe right uh, here and maybe another one over in this area let's go to our top view here uh, one right in here to clean up that uh, area there and there we go uh, so now we have a little uh, curvature on it, right? So we'll just go ahead and hit OK. Uh, that's the only reason why I uh, joined those together. Uh, so now we have a nice little uh, dome effect going on. So we're going to go ahead and select all that. Well, before we do, let's go ahead and do this last part here. We'll have to uh, blend one more time. Or, uh, yeah, blend one more time. You want to click on the corners right real close to each other and we have a big hole right there which is really nice so let's go ahead and uh, let's see let's turn off same height and that gets rid of that hole for us and actually that looks okay you can play around with that if you want to uh, you can lock those and move it out or in or whatever so we'll just leave it something like this hit enter and we'll go back and do this one here 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 and take a look at it and that one's okay too, so we'll take that. All right, so something like that. We'll go ahead and select it all. We will join it together. Uh, broke history, no big deal. We'll take that, and we will go to uh, cap, C-A-P, cap, and we should have it capped, and we should select it, and we have a closed poly service. Now you can go back here, and if you want to, you can uh, make it a little smaller or whatever you you know size you want. So now it's, it's down back down to oh, close to one three quarter again. We have a little nice uh, going up, coming across, and then going back down, right? Okay, so we'll take this. Now we'll go ahead and grab that uh, ring rail, right? And we need to change that to a 5.5, five, uh, five and a half right there. Uh, and select enter. And I think, uh, let's see, what happened? Oh, I turned it off. There we go. I've got two of them, so we'll just keep this one all right <clears throat> so we have that next thing you want to do is click on your uh ring rail type in l-e-n-g-t-h length uh and it'll give you uh, the link unknown command okay i didn't type it correctly l-e-n-g-t-h length 50.586 millimeters so now i'm going to go uh select curves grab me a line and I'm just going to snap it there. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to co uh, highlight that number, right click on it, uh, hit a copy. And then right in here, I'm going to, on my command line, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and hit paste. Now it's constrained or locked into that uh, same uh, diameter or the length of this curve laid out straight. I'm going to take this curve, go to uh, curves. Uh, change my seam point from bottom to top or top to bottom rather take that take that turn it back to organization uh, and i'm going to go ahead and take that transform i'm going to center it to enter and then just drag it straight out so now i know the center is there i'm going to take this i am going to duplicate it uh, from uh, that uh, f4 from F4 and then holding down shift uh, bring it over so it snaps right to my mid and then click there and then hit there so we have this one right 
plus that one over there. So I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to gray and hide it. Okay, so we have that, and it's right where we want it, and it's on, and our height, uh, it, it's right there on the base of our thing, right? So from here, what I'm going to do is I just want the one. It's no big deal. Uh, so I don't, you could do a polar, but why? <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just go scroll down here to uh, flow. We'll grab flow, go to flow long curve. We'll select our object, hit enter to the end of one of the, those ends, right? And then click on it and then go to the bottom because that's where our seam's at and hit it and it pops it right up there at the top. And it's got that little elongated look going on to it, right? Uh, so we'll take that. We'll go to Polar Array and wait for it there. You get your Polar Array out there. And then you can add however many you want. I'm going to put like seven on there because it looks like there's some space between the bank. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll take that. And then you're pretty much done for the most part. Go ahead, select your ring. Uh, go to your tools, go to your uh, profile placer, place it at the bottom because we moved the seam. Uh, and we'll go ahead and grab that uh, profile library and grab just something uh, to double click, uh, something that is more square, it looks like. And we'll kind of bring this back in. Now you can adjust this however much you want, right? Depending on where you want it. Uh, let's see, we'll take it into maybe... Point nine. We'll go ahead and activate auto suite so we can kind of see what's going on. And I, I don't know. I just like this because you can see the bank a little bit more. Uh, and it goes in just below our blend there, it looks like, right? Yeah. So that's kind of uh, good for me, I think. Uh, let's change it to this. You know, you can play around with it. There we go. Uh, if you don't like that length on there, right? Maybe, oh, it's a little too lengthy or whatever. Just go ahead and uh, shorten that one up. And it'll highlight everything. Broke history uh, on that, maybe. I don't know. Did it break history on my polar array? Let's check. Edit. And let's add one more on there. Uh, I put two. Eh, it didn't. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can, you can play around with this all day long, depending on what you want. And it updated still, so uh, I think it broke history on the uh, duplicate. And just edit away. I love Matrix Gold. <laughs> it's this part of it, at least. It's just, uh, you can really change it up, do all kinds of things with it. So uh, hopefully that uh, answers your question. Uh, I think that's... Uh, Getting is exactly or pretty close to uh, what you're looking for. If you just want it flat, you you know, like I said, you don't have to put that little dome on there. I think it just adds a little spice to it. Uh, but there you go. A nice little uh, popcorn ring. You could probably sell a lot of these. A lot of pe uh, people out there probably enjoy these. Uh, so hopefully that'll help and hopefully that'll uh, answer your question. Uh, so thanks for watching and good designing.